those debts will be cancelled. It is free money. It's all about generosity. We all know how easy money comes and goes when you're playing Monopoly. Of course, it's all pretend money, even when it goes your way with the community chest. But now there's a real community chest, and the money's real too. We're building a bridge uh, to people in need. Julie Hollett's a church leader in Fremantle, where she worries about the disadvantaged local families. So she and husband Wayne are doing something about it. People invariably come to churches to ask for help, so we do get lots of requests. And yet, we also feel really quite disempowered. We feel overwhelmed by the problems. With Easter only a couple of weeks away, Julie's organised Fremantle church groups to join forces and raise cash for local families who can't pay their bills. People who are disconnected from power, from gas, uh, who are on restricted water flow, or who can produce a letter saying that they're about to be evicted from their home. Those are the four uh, criteria, those are the categories. Julie says the idea is based on the Jubilee principle in the Bible's Old Testament. Land was given back to people who'd had to sell it uh, because it fell on hard times. Slaves were set free, uh, debts cancelled. It was a fantastic, exciting celebration. Bring especially to him the needs of the people in our city. Sixteen Christian churches from all denominations have been collecting free will donations during services. Since January, they've raised a whopping $90,000. One church alone gave $67,000 in one day. In a limited area, the amount of money that's been raised, is just, you know, it's take it blow my socks, I just can't believe it. Fremantle Mayor Peter Talia Ferry says with so much doom and gloom in the world, it's inspiring to see the community helping others. They're people who are mainly pensioners who are very disadvantaged and have, because of circumstances, either fallen through the, the, the cracks and need to be helped. Julie and her team approached Perth's utility companies. Western Power, Alinta Gas, the Water Corp and Homes West have agreed to help. And soon needy families in the Fremantle area will receive a letter saying their bill's been taken care of by people they've probably never met. We won't know who these people are. The, the letter will go out on you know, the relevant letterhead and we'll have a little card attached to it saying what this is about. Whose bills are paid will be chosen by the service companies, not the churches. The system is anonymous. Cheques will be written to the utilities to wipe out the debts, who will then send a letter to the chosen families. It's going to be a blanket amount of money paid to Western Power or to the Water Corp or, or Homes West, so they will won't know that they're on that list basically until after the events. They'll be a little stunned, perhaps a little disbelieving, and then at the end of the day they'll say, someone does care. Mr Talia Ferry says the donations will help struggling families to get ahead. And he hopes the kindness will catch on. The week is about an act of kindness, so hopefully they'll be given an act of kindness so they'll pass it on to someone else, whether it's making them a cup of tea, whether it's walking someone's, whatever it may be, so it's just that flow on. The paying off of debts only applies to people in the nine suburbs that make up the city of Fremantle. But Julie hopes their jubilee will inspire others to do the same. We're doing what we believe God has asked for the city of Fremantle and maybe it'll catch on. Maybe other groups will run with it for their own shires and we'd love to see that. I think it'll, it'll be contagious to be quite honest and I think it'll, it'll flow on.